Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Atomic Art on PC. We're going to start by optimizing your Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, image sharpening, I'm just using one, no impact on your FPS. It really depends on how much sharpening that you want and also do you use it on your uh, Radeon driver or Nvidia driver. Uh, window mode, super important to go full screen if you don't want stuttering. I'm not using V-Sync, I don't want any input lag, but again, if you don't have free sync G-Sync and you don't like T-Ring, I recommend to just activate your V-Sync uh, to make sure that you remove those T-Ring. Uh, the FPS cap is 300, the maximum in this game. Don't go too crazy if you're playing on a laptop with like a 60 hertz uh, screen. Just lock your FPS at 60 sometimes. If you just unlock it, uh, you will have issue with your thermal. You will cause stuttering. So don't go too crazy with that. Screen resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. 1080p, go with 1080p. After that, for the quality, first of all, depth of field and motion blur, remove that. Put this those one at off. Uh, it will be better for your visibility. After that, if you have DLSS and Fidelity FX, so if DLSS is available for you, you have an RTX card, definitely go with this one and use quality. Th those other modes like balance and even performance, are, they're pretty bad when you're moving inside of the game. Everything looks a little bit blurry, so go with qual quality. And also, if you have an RTX 4000 card, definitely use frame generation. It will boost a lot your FPS. If you don't have those technology, go with Fidelity FX. Put it at quality and you will be fine. If you don't have the Fidelity FX, I recommend to just go with an anti-aliasing at disable. The TAA is pretty bad in this game. Everything looks blurry, so just removing it. So we're going to go back with quality, frame generation. Animation quality, I recommend to go with medium. Not a huge difference between low and medium, but at high, you will lose 3% uh, in your FPS. So that's why I recommend to go with medium. Shadow, go with low, huge impact. If you compare low with max, you will see 16% difference in your FPS. So that's why I really recommend to go with low. Ambient inclusion, this one is a bit tricky. It will boost your FPS, but your game will look very flat if you go at low. Uh, so it really depends on your computer and how much uh, FPS, how many FPS that you have right now. Uh, I recommend to start with medium and just look at your FPS. Visual effect, you can definitely run medium. Uh, number of objects, you can run high. You don't have medium option, by the way, it's low, high, ultra and max. Uh, you will lose a lot of FPS at ultra and max. So medium, uh, high, sorry, is a good compromise. Material, I recommend to go with uh, medium also. Low versus medium, 1% different. If you compare medium to high, you're losing another 3%. So definitely medium. Volumetric fog, this one is, um, it will t <laughs> take a, lo a lot of your resources. If you're removing it, your game will look very flat. So I don't recommend to remove uh, volumetric fog. Maybe last resort if you're struggling to run the game. Uh, if not, go with low. Uh, you will have a nice 10% boost over there with low. And post-processing also, I recommend to go with low. For the texture and azotropic uh, texture filtering, um, 
go with ultra and eight if you have six gig of and more of vram if you have four gig go i and four if you have three gig go medium and two and if you have less than that just like go with minimum so we're gonna go to max 3d model quality can easily run i except if you are playing on a very old computer but you can go i over there vegetation density don't go too crazy with this one i recommend medium not a huge impact between low and medium but when you go at i it will tank your resources you're gonna lose four percent and another four percent at ultra so go with medium our drive speed it's pretty easy you have two different options if you have an ssd m2 drive just select ssd if you have an hdd drive an old uh, hard drive just select the hdd one and shader cache should be at on one thing that i can also recommend is the camera rate shake uh strength uh, go with 0 0.2 it's pretty intense in the game by default so i recommend just to lower that a little bit and it will help uh, a lot for your visibility and your image stability so this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide for how to make art. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.